Hi, my name is Dex and today we'll be looking at the batch function in SQL Accounting. Batch tracking is actually essential for you to track goods that actually have things like an expiry date, alright? So in SQL, what you need to do is you come here to stock, here come to maintain batch, alright? And let's say for example, if I want to create a new batch, all I just need to do is I just press new here. So let's say example, I put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. And here I can say, okay, this one is the batch for gloves. Okay, so I can put gloves, batch, set 10, 2021. All right. So expiry date is when these goods will expire. So what you can do is you can come in here, you can use the calendar and you can actually move it to, say, example, 2025, August 31st. Okay. Subsequently, we can put what is the manufacturing date that says today. So put the date here today. And at the bottom here, we can identify what are the items that are tagged to this batch. Of course, if let's say example, if you are buying a whole shipment from China, all those goods inside the particular shipment can be in one batch. Then of course, here you need to add every individual item that is in that particular batch. All right. So let's say example, if you just buy one batch, one batch like that. So we can actually tag this batch to a particular product. So example here, you can say example, I want to tag it to gloves. Okay. Once we're done, press save. Alright, so then let's say I will create another batch. I just press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9. Close batch 11, 2, 0, 2, 1. Okay, and I can do the same thing again. Come in here, change the date. August 31st. Then I put the manufacturing date. And I can select the same item again. Okay, because Every time a shipment comes in, they can use a different batch or sometimes even in one particular shipment, your supplier can send you two different batches of the same product. So let's say save. So let's say example, if a supplier sends you the invoice, you come to purchases, you come to documents, you come to purchase invoice. Alright, so let's say we will press new, select your supplier, say example sure. Here we can actually press plus and then here we can select our product. So example gloves. Then here we can say okay, I want this to be under which batch. So let's say example now I want to use batch 10 and 11. So I put here 10. And then from here I can put say okay, example I want 100 pieces. I said $90 per piece. And then what happens is if your supplier actually sends you another batch together. So you can actually come in here and you can just put again gloves. And then here we put one, two, three, four, five, nine. Okay. And here maybe I said only got 50 pieces, and I say example, this is also $90 per piece. Alright. So once we're done, we just press save. We close this. Okay. So if you want to check what is the stock in each batch, all we just need to do is come to stock here, reports, stock money and balance. We will select here, say example, gloves apply All right so the system will automatically split to for you the different batches and from here you can see okay batch this one we have 100 pieces batch this one we have 50 pieces so when you sell also the same thing so you just come to sales come to invoice press new select your customer say cash sales and then from here we press plus product say example gloves open the batch function so from here we can select what is the batch okay so here you can see what are the quantity when's the manufacturing date and when's the expiry date all right so let's say example i'm selling from this batch i select from here and i will sell my at say 150 dollars once we're done we press save Close this when we press apply. Sure, you can see now the quantity for this particular batch has dropped to 99 pieces. Right? So that's all for today. We hope that you find this useful. Do let us know if you want us to cover a new topic. Thank you.